people, let me talk to you for a minute. I just had to deal with some bullshit at work just now. And it actually coincides with a video that I just got through fucking making literally like a week or two ago. You know, now if y'all remember that video, I spoke about, you know, sorry about that, I had to pause the video, went to the store. I think a bird was trying to follow me, but never, never mind that. But yeah, about like a week or so ago, I made a video titled, Why Do White People Want to Say the Word Nigga So Bad? And I ain't even went into detail as to why the fuck y'all shouldn't say it. You know, Ice Cube had, uh, he was on Bill Murray, or Bill Murray, or whatever the fuck that dude's name is. And, you know, he was talking to him about, you know, him slipping up and saying, well, not even slipping up, because at this point, I don't even think y'all motherfuckers be slipping up. White folks be slipping up and saying, I think they just, you know, they get too fucking comfortable with themselves around black people and they think they can just say the shit. Even though if you consider yourself not meaning anything disrespectful by it, the fact that you're saying it, period, is disrespectful. But let me get into, uh, into that later. So in the video... I talked about, you know, why white folks shouldn't say the word nigga. I mean, this shit shouldn't have to be explained. We all know history. We all know what the fuck going on. We all know... Uh, motherfucking cars are rushing. But yeah, we all know what the fuck been happening, right? So, history ain't never gonna change. You are a part of a fucking legacy that had my people in fucking shackles. And that word, nigger, was used to disrespect and degrade people of my skin tone, right? That blood runs through your fucking veins, and that is your legacy. Anytime you talk about white folks' ancestry, that's your shit that's gonna come up, you know? And it wasn't until the generation after them, about like two or three generations after them, when we when we get into like modern times, talking about like the seventies, um, black folks decided to take a word that was used a, against us and turn basically take a negative and turn it into a positive. So amongst us, and in many cases, any non-white person. Especially if y'all came up in the hood, that was our way of, I guess you could say, that was like our way of communicating with the people that understood the bullshit that we went through. Like the definition of the word nigga is black man I understand your struggle and this is just something that black people said amongst each other as a term of endearment and you know every now and then we let you know like the Mexicans in there the Latinos you know what I'm saying a couple Asians some moments like I said the black ass some moments and it's just something that we use amongst our territory amongst ourselves white folks was never allowed to say that shit. And it's for a reason. Because of those historical reasons, white people were never allowed to say that shit. Even when they claimed that they meant, meant it in a, um, you know, they didn't mean it like that. Like that, quote unquote. And it's just like I said in that video, it's like white people, they get close with black people just so they can feel like they can get to the point where they can say this shit. And this is one of the, because there's always been this argument for the, the longest, right? White people have always felt like, you know, even though historically, anything where white people did, black people couldn't do. It was times where we couldn't move into your suburbs, we couldn't join your 4-H clubs, we couldn't join your fucking Boy Scouts. We had to fight for that shit. We really had to fight for that shit. And I'm saying this looking as nerdy as fucking possible, but I'm serious. We had to fucking, we had to fight for that shit. We were denied, and we still are denied a lot of things that because of your ancestors and the way that they treated us, you get to do that we can't do. So the, so the thought of black people being able to do something 
and uh, and white people not being able to do it, that bothers y'all. That bothers y'all deep down because how can a black person do something and a white person not be able to do it? Especially when it comes to a word. That word holds so much fucking significance. It's like anything that black people do, they want to do. I swear it is. Anything that black people do. Like we wear our hats backwards, all of a sudden they want to wear their hats backwards. You know? Because before then it was being called juvenile when you did that shit. Black people got braids and they shit. All of a sudden, they want braids. You know, black people been having dreads, and it was, they even passed laws, and I thought this shit was a hoax. I actually found out this shit to be true. They actually passed laws that gives businesses authority to discriminate against anybody that has dreadlocks, you know? But of course, it was always considered to be a juvenile hairstyle when black folks did it, braids and all that, but white folks does it. You know, white people do that shit, it's considered edgy and it's considered trendy amongst them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like little dumbass shit. So the, so the mere notion that we can say a word and they can't say a word because you're not in that circle. You're not in that circle of people who have been through the shit that we've been through. You know, and I'm speaking for the native Indians, the native Indians that actually was in this country, the Mexicans that was in this country before your ass uh, came over here and took shit over, and the black people that you stole from our native lands that come over. Man, don't, don't, don't get me started, bro. Like, that shit get me hot. Like, I just had to check a white bitch just at work today for that shit. I did. And this is the fourth case of me having to check a white person at my damn job for this shit. Look, I don't give a fuck what black people allow you to say that shit don't say it period because deep down every black if, if a black person doesn't want to slap you then they're a fucking coon that's just what it is they're boot licking uncle time and they don't deserve like bruh like <laughs> like understand like i'm not trying to be angry but understand my frustration with this shit like how do you get to the you claim that you cool with black people right that's even more so of the fucking reason why you guys shouldn't say it. How are you cool with black people and you don't... Man, look. White people, don't say that shit. Especially around me. We ain't never gonna be cool enough for you to say that shit. Never. Understand that shit. Please. We can be cool. Don't do it. Don't imply anything racial. Don't even... Even if you mean it nice. Don't say the shit. At all. I don't care how much of... Like, if you're a black person and you're allowing white people to say nigga in front of you all casual, like, like that shit ain't a problem, you a fucking cool, do all the time, that's all it is. And as part of y'all, and I have a feeling that some of y'all might have fully Republican. Most of y'all might be the reason why fucking Donald dumbass is in the White House right now, but let me uh break down this shit. Cause what's so sad is that white people don't even know why that shit is disrespectful. Like, they have no fucking clue. It is sad that they don't fucking know why that shit is... Like, how do you not know why saying nigga is disrespectful to black people? Like, for real. Like, how do you not know that? Like, how does that shit not cross your fucking mind? Like, damn, this could be... You know, this is offensive to people. Even if I decide that I mean it in a quote-unquote nice way, how is... Uh, you know... How do you not... Some common sense ain't clicking in your fucking head to where if you feel like you could just say that shit all willy-nilly, that it's a fucking problem with that. How do you not realize, like, does common sense not click in your fucking head? Like, I actually made a video, like, earlier this year, and it's funny how all these videos are starting to become intertwined. You know, motherfuckers was telling me I shouldn't post no videos like that. It's gonna upset white people. Bullshit. If they going around saying, nigga, I don't give a fuck if I upset them. You honestly think I give a fuck if I upset a couple white people? Look at me. I ain't not, I'm from Louisiana. New Orleans to be exact. Came to California from a place called Russia. I wasn't affected by Katrina. And I had to deal with a bunch of that racist shit. Cause it's still racist in the motherfucker down there. I grew up dealing with that racist ass bullshit. So... I don't know how that shit was like in Cali, but where I'm from, you getting checked on that shit. Point blank, period. You know? And like I said, you know, in a video I made um, earlier this year, was it late last year? I don't know. 
Let me get underneath the shade for a minute so I can finish this video. Because I don't want to be talking about this shit as I'm walking home. But in that video, I, I, I made a valid point. If you knew that your history was rooted in, in invasion, invasion and colonization and raping and pillaging and genocide and mass murder, but all you were taught were uh, the stories of glory and valor, which is what they actually do, then when somebody brings this information to you, you're not going to understand it. And that's white people for you in, 2000, in 2017. They just don't get it. They don't, they don't even know their own fucking history. For you to even ask, why is that, a, you know, why is it a problem for white people to say nigga? That's like, literally, like, clearly you don't know your own fucking history. For you to even have, to, I don't see, how do y'all not see that shit as a problem? You know, but I understand, you know, they tell you, uh, when you go to school, honestly, they're always telling you about the wars that we fought, right? The wars that were fought. The wars that, you know, we, we won between the North and the South and all that shit. They don't tell you the detail. Like, they just touch on it just enough to say that they did something, but they don't go into deep detail with it. Because if they did, y'all would really know about the shit. That's the type of shit that you got to go to a library on your own time and do your own research and dig real deep on that shit. You know, so... It was a picture floating around. Like white people, going back to what I said about black people being coons when they allow white people to say nigga around them. Some of y'all may remember, last year, 2016, it was around like the Halloween time and they were making all these racist costumes and racist pictures going around of white people dressing up like Trayvon Martin with like a blood stain. They rub ketchup on like a hoodie and they walk around with looking black face paint and shit on. You know what I mean? Obviously being, you know, racist than a motherfucker, intentionally being racist than a motherfucker. It was one picture in particular, and that shit stuck in my fucking mind. And it's funny, because I always thought about shit like that when a white person thought they was going to get away with saying nigga around me. And I look at every black person that does allow that shit to happen. It was one picture, uh, it was during Halloween, where there was these pictures of five girls. It was four white girls and one black girl. The black girl had on glasses and everything like that, you know, looking like she was, you know, cool with the white girls and always wanted to hang out with them. That's the way she fucking looked. And in the picture, the white girls put a, a noose around the black girl neck. And the black girl, she, she leaned her head to the side with her tongue poking out all playful, like, like, what the fuck? Like, how do you allow to, like, you gotta laugh at this shit, because it's, it's fucking funny, because how the hell do you allow some shit like that to happen, even on a quote-unquote play, they ain't, they ain't, that's not shit that you play around with, but every time, and some of y'all know about that picture, every time a white person think they're gonna be a, anytime a black person allows a white person to say nigga around them, I don't care how they claim they meant it. That's the type of shit that pops into, pops up into my head. Like I just can't. Like you got some cool motherfuckers. You don't even respect yourself. And what's worse, that they don't even fucking respect you. And that's not no shit that I'm making up because I'm angry. And you and for those of y'all who are like, oh damn, he big or you big mad a little bit, bitch. I'm mad. Period. That's anything that some that a black man should be mad about. Anything a black woman ought to be mad about. But some of us have gotten to the point where we we we, we want to be a part of the white culture so fucking bad, you don't see that they stealing, they've been stealing our culture from behind us all the while. They tell you your, your dreads and your braids look so fucking juvenile, but they go do it all of a sudden, it's a fucking edgy hairstyle. They sat there for millennia, for like centuries and fucking decades on end telling you that your big butts and your natural curves, your natural bust sizes, and all this shit right here is fucking fat and, you know what I'm saying, being hella disrespectful to you. But then they go and they get ass injections and, you know what I'm saying, now in 2017, white bitches start wearing yoga pants and shit. You know what I'm saying, like, trying to act like they got a little bit, a little bit of something. When we know it's the fucking yoga pants, that ain't y'all for real. 
Y'all throw the mom jeans back on, y'all ass look flatter than a pancake. But let me not get started, bro. Because I didn't, like I said, like I'm, I'm a 90s baby. I know white girls didn't always have ass like that. So I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. I don't know if y'all discovered that fried chicken actually tastes good. Or actually, or if y'all actually, actually started enjoying calories in 2017. But regardless of the fact, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all been doing something, I don't know, maybe all, maybe it's all this fucking yoga that y'all pretend like y'all going doing, maybe y'all actually doing it, but regardless of the fact, it's like, and even when I see black people with white people, like, there was a part of me at one point that said, if we don't coexist, we won't exist, and I meant everybody, like, we gotta get rid of this racist shit, but the thing is, they don't want to get rid of it, because they do the shit, like, the, the best way to trick people is to introduce their destruction as entertainment first because once they once you introduce it as entertainment people are already open to entertain being entertained so they're gonna accept it regardless you know always introduce it as entertaining not only that but you have white people that's gonna complain and say oh where's white people that's in the hood there's white people who, you know, who had it bad like black people. First off, if you think that wasn't going to be the case, you stupid as hell. You obviously don't know how a master plan works. A master plan, you can't, a master plan always involves, you can, basically it works like this. You can't trick your enemies without tricking your allies first. Because if your enemies catch wind that your allies move in a certain way, then they're going to figure out something's up. You have to genuinely trick your allies in order for you to trick your enemies. So of course there was going to be some white people that got affected by the shit that they were trying to hit black people with. Of course it was. They didn't want to make it too obvious that this is what they was doing against fucking black people. And fucking Mexicans and Native Americans. The real Native Americans. Let, let, let me not get started on that. But, but yeah. So... I didn't want this shit to be extra long, but just know, white people, have some fucking respect for your goddamn self. Because if you respect yourself enough, then you would know that you shouldn't be saying no shit like that. Period. Those word, a word like nigga shouldn't be coming out your mouth. I don't care how you claim you mean it. Shit like that shouldn't be coming out your fucking mouth. And if you gotta ask yourself, well, why is it a problem? Then you need to do it in your own fucking background. You need to check on your own fucking history. Look up American history. Literally read a fucking book, dumbass. And no, I'm not mad or worried about the car. Because, again, like in a, another in, in a video I said in the past, um, there's somebody coming by in this Ninja Turtle van. You know, you gotta be smart. Like, the shit that affects you isn't gonna affect white people the same way. Like, they do shit in secret that if you call them out on it, you're gonna end up doing that out in the open and you're gonna get in trouble for responding to them. They're not gonna get in trouble for shit. They get slapped on the wrist for the shit that we get, like, fucking punished even more for. So you gotta be ready to deal with shit in a, in a silent manner. Like, even when I checked old girl, at work, I, did, I wasn't loud. I, I wasn't like you know, um, making a big scene. No, I just pulled her to the side, like, "Yo, that shit you said earlier, like niggas ain't shit." I know you was being playful and shit, but don't say that shit. She said, "I didn't mean it like that." Like, I don't give a fuck. She said, "Okay," and she walked away. She knew what time it was. Like, <laughs> like you can't be like that, bro. Be smart, man. You claim you cool with black people. Respect. First off, respect yourself enough to where you wouldn't say no shit like that, and respect black people enough to understand that that's not a word that you say. Period. You know, it's, it's not nothing that you should be playing with. That ain't shit to play with. And even if a black person claims that they allow you to say that shit, respect yourself enough to not say that shit, even around them. You know, that word holds a lot of fucking weight in the United States of America. Even if um, the black people that's allowing you to say that shit don't fucking realize it. 
because they claim they want to get past shit. No, how we going to get past it is you wising the fuck up. Not the black people wising the fuck up, but you wising the fuck up. We took a negative and made it a positive for our benefit. Because the word was already so fucking beating our head. Thanks, Massa. <laughs> My ancestors got a lot of lashes on their fucking back. And, um, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, man, that's gonna be it, bro. I don't wanna, um, make you even a bigger of a scene. I just wanted to say that, man. Peace and love. And, uh, you know, let's be respectful to each other. Can we do that, please? That's it.